Welcome everyone. We are here today to provide an opportunity for couples to do a renewal of their baptismal vows. You can also, if you would like, download the order of service that we're going to be using here. If you want to stop the video and go do that quick, that is included in your Monday communication to the congregation. And you can go download that if you would like, or you can just follow along with Pastor Katie and I as we lead you through, with your partner, the renewal of vows. You can do this either way. So with that, we will begin our order of worship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Creator and our Redeemer, look with continuing favor upon the couples gathered here today. Grant them as they rejoice in all your gifts, that they may at length celebrate with Christ the feast that has no end. Amen. Our lesson comes to us from 1 John chapter 4, verses 7 through 12. It reads, Beloved, let us love one another, because love is from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. God's love was revealed among us in this way. God sent his only son into the world so that we might live through him. In this is love. Not that we loved God, but that God loved us and sent God's Son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. Beloved, since God loved us so much, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God lives in us, and God's love is perfected in us. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Through the words of St. Paul, God invites us to see marriage as a covenant, whereby spouses commit themselves to live for the other. I would encourage you at this time to face one another and join hands. And then each of you individually take turns in repeating after me. As Christ has loved me, so I will love you. As Christ gave himself for us, so I give myself to you. As Christ has valued each of us, so I will respect and honor you. The Lord God, in his goodness, created us, and by the gift of marriage, founded a human community in a joy that begins now and is brought to perfection in the life to come. Because of sin, our age-old rebellion against God's will, the gladness of marriage can be overcast, and the gift of family can be a burden. But God, who established marriage and blessed our marriages, continues to bless us with abundant and ever-present support. In the Lord's presence and forgiveness, we can be sustained in our weariness and have our joy restored. So now we will go through this portion together. First, one member of the couple will say this to the other, and then we're going to go back through it again. So continue to hold hands, and one of you repeat after me. Say the name of your partner. I give myself to you in faith and hope and love. I love you, trust you, and delight in you.
I will share your joys and your sorrows. I will go with you wherever God calls us. This is my solemn vow. Now, we're going to go through that one more time, and it's the other partner's opportunity to speak. So say the name of your partner. I give myself to you in faith and hope and love. I love you, trust you, and delight in you. I will share your joys and your sorrows. I will go with you wherever God calls us. This is my solemn vow. Let us pray. Lord God, source of all love and mercy, we give you thanksgiving for blessing these couples in the life that they share. Grant them continued life together. Awaken them each day to new signs of your presence in their lives as they grow in love toward you, toward each other, and toward the world. Enrich them more and more with your grace. Strengthen them in their support of each other so that they may serve as a sign of your eternal faithfulness in their lifelong faithfulness to each other. Fill them with love and wisdom in their parenting. Bring them at last to the feast that has no end. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, keep you in his light and truth and love, now and forever. Amen. This concludes our service. God's blessings to you all.